and my style to be jacking it. She know my swag is immaculate. I shouldn't have scored right there. It's all good, though. First play, we come out in man coverage. But do you see how much time is in the pot? I want y'all to see the time elapsed, bro. Like, like look at it! Fucking it up! You're up the middle. So there's that. Nigga was in the pocket for literally 16 seconds, bro. Niggas got all day in the pocket. Hits me with a cover to be dude. Dude, what's good with y'all niggas, man? We about to show y'all TNC Fancy's game plan. Not only am I following this nigga on Twitch, subscribe to the nigga, got the sub tips, alright? I played the nigga, you seen the gameplay. So you know I had to get the first in, nigga, I'm a, I'm a level 10 scout. It's only 10 levels to the scout. Once you 10, you perfect. Y'all already know my scout team skills. The, the Bills is in my DMs right now. I'm the one who got him, Josh Allen. You hear me? But anyways, more to the story. We got to play this nigga, so I got the ultimate scouting report, all right? And here it is. This is the offensive play chart. We got a gun bunch demon. A bunch offset demon. A bunch verticals demon. He's going to run verticals down your fucking throat. The offensive playbook he's running is the Indianapolis Colts playbook. These are his audibles for his favorite formation, bunch offset. I'm not going to really run the setups on niggas that much, all right, to save y'all some time, but I'm going to show you the setups. I'm not going to sit here and make a 20-minute video showing you me running plays against the computer no more, all right? I'm trying to save y'all some real lifetime. all right? I hope you appreciate, but look, he's going to run this exact setup right here. This is his favorite vertical setup. He used to run it like this, but they patched the tight end delay fade, all right? So now he just blocks it. This is his favorite setup by far. The second way he's going to set it up, he's going to run it literally stock just like this. He's just going to quick hike you. This A route might get open. You know how verticals work. I, I shouldn't have to explain this setup of verticals. All right. Next, say it's man coverage or match coverage. He's going to throw this nigga on a smoke screen, right? Now, what's the point of throwing him on a smoke screen for y'all? He puts him on a smoke screen. That way, when he's running verticals, right? This RB route is not going to run into him because if he was on a streak still like this, this man is going to be down the field guarding him. But now there's no cornerback to worry about. You feel what I'm saying? I bet. Now the next way he likes to run it, this is a nice little cover two beater. All right. This is going to pull down that left cornerback, right? This nigga right here on X. He's going to drop down immediately if he's in a soft squat. If he's in anything but a 30-yard flat route zone drop, which people aren't going to run every play if they're blitzing. If they're running the base DB fire too, like the defense I'm going to show you after this, make, this is a nice setup against it. You don't even need the A route, but that's what he does. And, and he comes out there and runs this, and X is going to be wide open, Okay. Because his corner is going to drop. He's going to lead pass it to the outside to the left. Now, boom. Another way he'll run, he'll put the Y on a streak. He'll put the Y on a streak with verticals, right? Remember, he, this is the main play he runs. He just runs it many different ways. He'll put Y on a streak if he thinks all these linebackers are going to be blitzing in the middle. And that way, he's going to make you choose, okay, if you're sending the six man, you're going to have to guard my A route or my running. You can't guard all three of them niggas in the middle of the field. You just can't. You're going to have to put some type of vert hook or some, some type of help up there. Now, the next way he'll run it, I only seen him run it like this one time, but I had to put it in there. I seen it. Scout team, he'll run it like this. You feel me? And this is going to open up that soft squat for the B route. And at the same time, that X route, same. It's kind of like looking like the wheel. But instead, now you can open up that B route too. It's like a double cover two beater. You feel me? It's going to make him drop a lot quicker. Now, boom. The next way he'll set that joint up, he'll max protect, and then he'll drag X. All right? This will work against cover 2-2. Two, two. It gets him a lot of time. You still can get shit over the top. It's nice. It's nice. All right? Now, this is his universal setup. This is a setup he runs at a, any play in the game because his B receiver is a slot-o-matic. I should have went over the abilities with y'all. 
He has a sideline dead eye on his quarterback, Josh Allen. He has Josh Allen at quarterback. He has Gunslinger on his quarterback. He has Derrick Henry at running back with Bulldozer. He has Keyshawn Johnson at his slot with Slotomatic and a Slot Apprentice. The reason he has Slotomatic instead of route technician is because you get better catching on top of better routes. All right. I didn't know this until I played him. Then. He has slot apprentice on this outside guy for, for us who is brown, okay? And then he's going to have a post up right here on his center. center. I said center. up. He's going to have a post up on his center. This nigga right here. That's a post up. He's going, that way he can double team niggas. You seen how much time in the pocket he was getting against me. Now look. This is how he runs his universal setup. He's going to put B on a crosser. Then he's going to flip the play. After B's on a crosser, Y on a streak, block A, X on a um, slant, and Y on an out. This is one of his favorite plays, too. It's still verticals, but you see what he did with the play. And now, he, since he flips it every time, you're expecting this nigga Godwin to do this. You're expecting something like this, but it's not that because of the crosser route. You feel me? Go in the whole opposite direction. All right. Now, the next play he likes to run, his second favorite play, is bench pivot. This is cover two beater. He's just going to quick hike it and put RB on a streak. This deep safety up here, uh, the top right nigga, the strong safety, he's going to go run over to this Gronkowski route. This left safety is going to stay on Mike Evans. RB is going to be open right up the middle of the seam of the field, man. Like, right up in the gap. All right. Then the second way he'll run this, He'll do it like this. He'll put X on a, a drag and B on a crosser. He'll run it like this. This is another nice uh, coverage setup. I think this is a cover four beater, if, it, if I'm not mistaken, for match coverage. All right. Then the next play he likes to run in his uh, audibles is inside zone split. He runs this a lot, but I don't have to explain that. Then he has the PA read. The only uh, setup I've seen him do, I'm sure he runs this setup, which is the coverage beater. That's a real quick coverage beater. It's going to bomb two, three, you feel me? Probably four or two. And that A route is going to beat cover two. But the way i seen him run it, he's going to put X on a drag. It's a cover two beater, by the way. He's going to motion out B like this, make you think it's verticals or something. And then it's going to be a max protect setup like this. And then that B route is going to either get up, like he's going to get open up the middle of the field, man. All right. Now, some of the other setups he likes to run out this formation. The way he runs double post is no surprise. RB on a drag, or he's going to put RB on a hitch, A on a drag. Or he'll do RB hitch, A drag, and then he'll block Y like this. He actually runs this one a pretty decent amount. He runs that same setup with mesh post, too. All right. Same setup with mesh post. Shit like this, you feel me? He'll run this. Another thing he'll do at a mesh post. That, that is the only mesh post setup I've really seen. Sometimes in the red zone, he'll do this, right? He'll put this nigga. This is, he'll do this in the red zone. All right. And then another way I see him run this play. He'll run it like this with the B on the corner route. I'm just busting down everything I've seen him run, bro, for real. About damn near every setup I've seen. And then Z spot to end the bunch. He'll max pro. B on an out, X and an in. And this shit still gets open somehow. I don't understand, but he runs the setup literally just like this. For Flood, he'll either just go ahead and put Y on an out route or he'll put B on a uh, hitch. He likes to do B on a hitch more in the red zone. This setup more like regular. And then another thing, dig return. Y'all got to notice it's a red zone play. Literally, all you do is put X on a smoke screen. It's going to bring down that corner. RB is going to get open in the red zone. Two-point conversion, everything. This B route gets open against man. Torches a lot of zone coverage because the A route and shit. And if you want to beat match coverage, like cover four palms, you just put B on a streak. RB is going to take that uh, safety down. B is going to be wide open up the middle. All right. And that's now that's officially the end of Gun Bunch. All right. Next is tight slots. Halfback week, all right? Now, this formation, he mainly only ran it in the red zone. 
but he ran it in the red zone a lot, all right? So with one setup, he would put Y on a crosser, B on an out. He would motion B out, X on a flat, and he would run it like this. Now, another way he would run this, he would motion this nigga to the left in the red zone, like goal line area. He'd put Y on a slant, A on a flat, and then put B on an out. Now, that's the end of mesh spot. A universal setup he runs out of this. X on a post, B on a flat, Y on a slant, A out to the left. He'll run his shit like this, too, in the middle of the field. All right. Let's pause the video. Get all these notes write them down i got the description of all these setups in my notes literally you can go look in the description get all these setups all right for four verticals for four verticals you motion b out on a flat this is in the red zone two point conversion play r i mean you're gonna put x on a smart route in and then you're gonna put rb on a curl that's basically the end of what he runs when he gets real close to the goal line tight He'll run uh, this formation wing tight, and then he'll run the, the uh, inside zone mainly in the uh, halfback stretch with Bulldozer, and he'll just go for the truck. You feel me? That's the end of the video. That's the full scheme. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We're exposing everyone. Master Scout team, man. We out.